Dr. Richard Boylan, and numerous others have already let the cat out of the bag when it comes to anti-gravity spaceflight, so why do Boeing and Lockheed, two of America's largest military industrial contractors, and the recipient of trillions in taxpayer black budget dollars still hide that they are operating at least 12 anti-gravity aerospace platforms? NSA whistleblower Edward Snowden confirms, black projects within U.S. government. It seems that Boeing hides this advanced aerospace technology because it would prove what many free energy enthusiasts have said about Nikola Tesla that he discovered anti-gravity, and learned how to utilize it as an abundant, if not free, energy source. Objects can even be levitated easily with anti-gravity, and its numerous applications are just beginning to be understood by the public at large. The late genius and inventor even explained the fact prior to his death. William Arlen writes in Occult Ether Physics, Creatopia Productions, that a lecture Tesla prepared for the Institute of Immigrant Welfare, May 12, 1938, dealt with his dynamic theory of gravity. Tesla said in his lecture that he had developed, one of two far-reaching discoveries, which I worked out in all details in the years 1893 and 1894. Indeed, Tesla held a patent in 1928, for a flying machine which resembled both a helicopter and an airplane and is thought to have run with the benefit of anti-gravity. Boeing has loosely revealed that they have already developed this technology in a veiled admittance that it is working on experimental anti-gravity projects that could overturn a century of conventional aerospace propulsion technology. And Ben Rich, once the CEO of Lockheed Martin, admitted on his deathbed that aliens were real, and the US military already travels to the stars, explaining where this technology could have been sourced, aside from terrestrial beings like Tesla. This means that for more than 130 years we have been kept in the dark about a known free energy source so that the powers that be can profit from our ignorance. Every time you see a rocket ship go up in space, it is essentially no different from the false flag attempts orchestrated by six media companies controlling the media to alter your perception of reality. So where did all that research go? Theodore C. Loader, Ph.D., posits in one paper that since the 1950s, known to some as the brain drain era, almost all research into anti-gravity seems to have disappeared. None other than Professor Herman Oberth, considered by some to be one of the fathers of the space age, and who later worked in the U.S. with Wernher von Braun, the Army Ballistic Missile Agency and NASA, stated the following in 1954 3. It is my thesis that flying saucers are real and that they are spaceships from another solar system. Perhaps of more interest to our present discussion on the secrets Boeing and Lockheed have kept, Oberth states. They are flying by the means of artificial fields of gravity. They produce high-tension electric charges in order to push the air out of their paths, so it does not start glowing, and strong magnetic fields to influence the ionized air at higher altitudes. First, this would explain their luminosity. Secondly, it would explain the noiselessness of UFO flight. Indeed, you can see the crumbs of government contractors' special operatives at work when you look into the work of John Hutchison. He discovered, highly anomalous electromagnetic effect which causes the jellification of metals, spontaneous levitation of common substances, and other effects, which echo Tesla's findings. These strange effects were later dubbed the Hutchison effect. As is usually the case when silencing the curious, a Vancouver businessman, George Hathaway heard of the Hutchison effect around 1980, and hired an engineer from Boeing Aerospace to work with the Canadian government to form a company that would promote technology developed from the effect. They called this company Ferros Technology. You likely haven't heard of what they have created since then. Twelve Special Aerospace Platforms Incorporating Anti-Gravity Technology Dr. Boylan explains. At this time, I am aware of the existence of 12 kinds of special technology advanced aerospace platforms mill speak for craft, all incorporating anti-gravity technology in some form. These 12 are, the Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit Stealth Bomber, the F-22 Raptor Advanced Stealth Fighter, and its successor, the F-35 Lightning II Advanced Stealth Fighter, the Aurora, Lockheed Martin's X-33A the Lockheed X-22A two-man anti-gravity disc fighter, Boeing, and Airbus Industries Nautilus, 
the TR3A pumpkin seed, the TR3B triangle, Northrop's Great Pumpkin Disc, Teledyne Ryan Aeronautical's XH-75D Shark Anti-Gravity Helicopter, and the Northrop Quantum Teleportation Disc. Since at least 1956, the press has been trying to manage public awareness by staying hush-hush about anti-gravity research, or discounting those who attempted to show that it was real. However, a trade press magazine, The Aviation Report, made numerous references to anti-gravity projects, and listed many of the companies pursuing research into anti-gravity technologies. Quotes from the Aviation Report listed in the Aviation Studies, International, Limited Report 8 are suggestive of what was truly going on at Boeing, Lockheed and other agencies despite what the public was being told. What anti-gravity means to the world at large. Anti-gravity, first and foremost would make petrol guzzling cars, crumbling electric grids, and other outdated and dirty fuels a total waste of time. Anti-gravity, as Nikola Tesla made clear, would make space flight to other heavenly bodies as simple as driving your car to a nearby city, today. It would also turn Einstein's E equals MC2 theory on its head, and it also suggests, as Tesla explained, that the ether is given to us to use responsibly by a life-giving creative force. In short, everything we need is already out there in abundant supply. We just need to tap into it and free these technologies from the grip of the military-industrial complex.